welcome to Art Blog On Location with me, Anthony King. Today we're going to Paris, France, to the Musée d'Orsay, to visit Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night Over the Rhone, which he painted in September 1888. Remember, check out the website anthonykingblog.com for a full article, photographs, We'll have a slideshow along with the video on YouTube as well. So make yourself a cup of tea and let's make our way to Paris. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Paris in a few moments. We will arrive at Paris Gare du Nord with this train will turn. Standing across from the starry night over the Rhone, labelled here as La Nuit Etoile. Something which does not come across on looking at images prints on the internet or copies is the vivid color the light it is absolutely stunning in real life this painting in front of me right now is probably one of the most magnificent real life paintings i've ever seen in a sense that no copy photograph or picture can come close to the magic of vincent van gogh's piece i'm standing on the other side of the room because there is about 40 or 50 people standing right in front of it. It is obviously a very popular piece. What does the piece show? We have two people in love, walking and having a stroll down the riverbank. The beautiful stars are surrounded by orbs of natural light. Orbs is a great word to describe the floating stars. Astronomers have tried to ascertain the exact time he painted this by the position of the stars. But the painting really does capture the reflections Gas lighting is really captured in this painting, and the long reflective lights along the river, very thickly applied paints. It creates a rhythm. It's really interesting to note that artificial light was new in this period of time. Before then, it would be candlelight, fire, and this was electricity. And that effect which he painted encourages the eye to move around the painting. He was a genius in creating that impression of movement. It's in the middle of a beautiful room on the second floor, pride of place. Van Gogh wrote a letter where he described the painting as cheerful and a scene of lovers taking a stroll under a bright starlit night. He talks about the romantic quality, but some have said that when this was finished later, that there was a more darker element to the piece. Looking at it, I don't see the darkness in it. During the end, when he finished this piece, he was suffering from mental illness, and this was just before he was sectioned and put into a mental institution. Some people have noted the lack of separation between the sky and the river. But if you look at it in real life, it is very, very clear what is sky and what is water. So I think that the darkness argument or perspective is not valid. Maybe the people that had that opinion didn't see the actual painting in real life. They said that his growing depression essentially warped the original romantic appeal which he went for and referred to in his letter. For me, you see the water and you see the sky. It's beautiful blues and you the whites in the sky and the yellows and the riverbanks also have another quality, short strokes. You see riverbank, river, sky, stars very, very clearly. Some have said that the lovers are wading out of the water but no. So I don't buy that at all. This is a series of Starry Night paintings that he did. Two versions. This one is different because it includes human beings. This Starry Night doesn't have the big squirrely version which you may have seen previously. This has a more down-to-earth, magical, beautiful, romantic quality to it. It's almost a snapshot of a private moment. And it almost looks like the lovers are smiling. When you stand close up, you really see the texture and the depth of the piece. He used a lot of paint on the river bank you really see the short strokes greens blues prussian blue ultramarine and cobalt the glimmer of the gas lights oranges reflected in the water some browns the stars sparkle like gemstones and they really do i have not seen a gemstone that bright though and it was not long after just a few months later that he was confined to a menstrual institution and he then painted his second version of the same subject however the starry night which is now in New York, had a spirit and a psyche and a feeling of violence and strangeness to it, which isn't in this painting. This really is serene, beautiful, romantic, calm. If you go to 
a Mediterranean island and imagine walking just after sunset. This is the kind of spirit that this painting conveys by Vincent van Gogh. A beautiful piece. I want to thank you for listening and I'd like to encourage you to check out the website anthonykingblog.com. Join me on Twitter, Facebook and see you next week.